Venezuela In says Venezuela its military will escort five Iranian tankers, bringing oil to ease severe shortages. A new standoff could be brewing between the United States, Iran and Venezuela over a shipment of millions of dollars of fuel. Five Iranian oil tankers are just days away from arriving in Venezuela to help ease fuel shortages there. Venezuela's own oil refining industry collapsed. Critics say that was because of underinvestment and mismanagement. Now, President Nicolas Maduro has turned to Iran for help for fuel itself and chemicals to help get the oil industry back on track. Those five ships are bringing gasoline. Regarding the technical support for the reactivation of the refinery, what the Venezuelan government asked us for in the past weeks was to bring input materials, catalysts, which Iran brought through the planes. Ship tracking shows the first of the five tankers left the Iranian port city of Bandar Abbas in March. The first tanker, Fortune, is expected to arrive in Venezuela in the next few days. Iran is a longtime ally of Venezuela and fellow rival of the United States. Both countries' oil sectors are already under US sanctions. The White House says it's considering how to respond to the shipment. This would be an example of the Iranian regime taking the wealth of the Iranian people and wasting it in Venezuela on Maduro. The U.S. is one of more than 60 countries trying to push Nicolas Maduro from power, recognizing opposition leader Juan Guaido as president. A force of U.S. vessels, including Navy destroyers, patrol the Caribbean on what U.S. officials say is an anti-drug mission. Venezuela sees the vessels as a threat and is sending its own military to escort the Iranian tankers through its territory. In case the threat is materialized, it would constitute an actual armed aggression against a civilian Iranian vessel and against the Venezuelan people as a whole. But analysts say a conflict is unlikely. Nobody in Washington wants a war or any sort of conflict with Iran over Venezuela uh, in the current circumstances. So although uh, the U.S. Uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Southern Command has expressed concern over this and Washington is clearly watching it closely, uh, I think in the current circumstances, that's probably going to be uh, the, the extent of it. Venezuela and Iran say the trade is a win-win for both countries. Iran got much-needed gold, Venezuela the oil, and both got to send a message to the United States. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera, 